Don't they? Damn it! It's too low. No, nope. I turn around. Yeah, you accidentally shoot the. Damn it! Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! And it went boom. Yeah. Isn't it supposed to become a mini version first? Only if you did it right, which I didn't. I fucked up. You done fucked it up, Alex. Yes. You done fucked up. Language boys. What? <laughs> Language boys. I'm trying, but apparently this is this recording session is the not safe for work version. Our LPs are never safe for work. No, they are with me. I'm usually much more tame than this. I think it's my prolonged exposure to the tra to the Shadow Blazer that's doing it. <laughs> Were you about to smack Alex? I could have. Henry just kind of did this lean in like she was getting ready to smack him upside the head. It's like, it's because of you that we can't have nice things. Sure yes, it's because of you, Alex, that we can't have nice things. But we have nice things. Like? I don't know. <laughs> what, what don't we have exactly? We have NX. Oh. <laughs> we don't have that yet. You have a crazy imagination, Alex. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, and you're not just going to get the grenade eggs while you're right there. I'll get them later. Okay. I guess I could get more Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Oh, that too. You might as well see if you can... Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. I'm <laughs> there so is. happy for you. It's like the time I thought my mom would say good morning, and she did. Actually, <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, instead of, instead of going there, go to where I think... If you go to where, back to where um, Welder is, I think there's one similar to this that you can cr cross. I'm giving Alex the concentration he needs to wait for the eggs. The eggs. So many the accidents, accidents can, can happen, happen in the kitchen. Which is both fired. Which I can't wait to see what the next round of casting will be. Because we're just steadily getting more Digimon Adventure Try casts. And we've already gotten quite a few back already. I'm really surprised by that. What, you're surprised that we got who we got as cast? Yeah, because we've gotten quite a few of the originals back already. I think they will try very hard to get the originals back. Even though those, those people might be off doing other things. Alright, well, now we can go down. Just like, like, I mean, they could, Funimation couldn't even get the, any, Funimation couldn't get most of the original Evangelion cast back. Well, that's Ava. This is Digimon. <laughs> there's a difference. No, there's a, not much of a difference, really. No, there really is. So have you watched any of the other Digimon besides? The first four seasons? Yeah. I watched a bits of, watched bits of season five and bits of season six. And you wrote it off, you bastard. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you did that like I did with Transformers series. That's and we're back to Transformers! Oh, it all comes back to Transformers. Yeah, you were about to bring it back to Anno, so don't get on my case. <laughs> and Anno has actually made a pitch for a Transformers series, so I, F you. I don't think he has. Mm -hmm. I would have heard such a thing. I'm gonna put uh, Adam, are we gonna- He didn't get it. Are we gonna have to punch your sources again, Adam? No. Dude, every giant robot developer at one point or another has made a Transformers pitch. Mm. And there are actually successful Japanese series that I would love to be brought over. If anything, he'd want to probably do Space Runway Edapon before he'd do Transformers. No, no. he. Um, one of the pitches, uh, I don't know if it was Ono or not, but... Um, and then it probably wasn't. Shut your mouth! <laughs> I've never heard I of... don't know if it was Ano directly or if he was an underling by that point, but um, when the Japanese Beast Wars happened, mm -hmm. which is not... I know what people think when they, they think Beast Wars in the CG series. No, there was one before that. Um, I I think the company that, that Ano was working for at that time, as an underling, made a pitch. So Gynax made the pitch. Alright, try shooting from... What was it before... Like, I 
where did the people from G that formed Gynax come from? Why did you? I did couldn't make it anyway. It's well, too low. Well, how do you, It's how too do you... high. Watch. Jump up to the top, can you? Like, go on the pipes. Oh, is it blocking? It repels it. Yeah, I can. Oh, then you have I to wait for- I swear I- think I got the glide, actually. I swear I do. Ow. Ow. <laughs> you better make sure you check before you climb all the way up there to find out you didn't. I mean, for crying out loud, Masami Obari made a Transformers pitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> he did, actually. And there, there's, like, I have heard that there are images of big boob Transformers. Okay, now try gliding I've never first. seen them. All right. Just to uh, make sure. To answer your question. Oh, yep, yeah. So to answer your question, though, Adam, uh, before they were Gynax, I There's know they- There's a bunch of anime fans that, that came together to form Gynax, but yeah. some of them have already been animating before that point. Well, most of them were college students. I think you could probably just access the area by I, going out. I can't. I have to get- I have Yeah, to but they, they dropped out of a company to form Gynax. I know that much. No, they didn't. They all formed together to make what would become Gynax. Okay. It had a different name at the start. I can't remember what it was now, but they all became you Gynax. Just, uh... You're probably thinking of Trigger, which has a lot of former Gynax staff. Maybe. But it's happened. There are actually Transformers anime. Yeah. Crying out loud, Armada is an anime. Gen 1 is considered an anime. Uh, yes, because they brought in a lot of... Uh... Toei came in for the movie, was it Toei? Mm -hmm. They came in for G1? Uh, I think so. I think it was... I want to say that they worked with a different company too. Shit! Because <laughs> I think you can get on the top of the entrance area mm -hmm. and then just glide to the window. Oh, maybe I can. If I can figure out how the glide works. There's another company that they worked with too on additional stuff. It might maybe be... it was in the later season. No, I can't because I can't climb up. Oh. I could do that though. Mm -hmm. Never say never. How do I? There we go. I just hold it, I guess. Yeah, I think so. No, I don't. Uh, I can do. I can make it! I can make it! I can't! Oh, 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 oh. Let me try the climb. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's been a dagger! <laughs> you. Let's see. Takara worked on the toys. Marvel worked on the comic. Um... <laughs> Toei and Akon was the other one that worked on the original G1. Because G1's awesome, and you should totally watch it. So we don't have Alex here. Alex ran out on us to go use the bathroom. Um, so let's just go ahead and sit here and talk about Transformers. I mean, what, what is your favorite Transformers moment, Andrea? No, I haven't watched too many Transformers. You watch the movies. Except for the movies. We will fix this because I'm gonna I'm gonna sit you down with Alex to watch the the 80s movie. It, it is good. It is awesome. And you will feel bad that you never watch Transformers after that. Oh really? Yes. What were you guys a GI Joe household? No, not really. At least I wasn't. What was your 80s series growing up, Andrea? I don't think I've actually known this one. I don't know. He-Man, Gem. Does Taxi count? No. And you watch Taxi later. Well, I watch... Let's see. Are you telling me you never watch Saturday morning cartoons, Andrea? She's telling me she never watched Saturday morning cartoons. I do not believe you. You watched Saturday morning cartoons at some point. You were probably just in a G.I. Joe household. F.G.I. Joe. No, we never watched G.I. Joe. Oh, you're back now. Okay. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I confirm it. So it was Toei and Acom. And oh. Acom sounds familiar. Yeah, Acom the, does all the overseas work for The Simpsons. Ah, there we go. And uh, Nelson Shin directed the movie. Mm-hmm. 
So he's the founder of Acon. Thank you, Nelson Chin. Okay, the only I think the only last Jiggy you have to get the other moves and click clock. Then he did the movie. Cloud cookie, whatever. And he brought in Leonard Nimoy, and now I'm sad. I don't think he he wouldn't have had anything to do with the voice casting. He just directed the animation. Oh no, but Leonard Nimoy has done two. Trans two or three mm -hmm. Transformers roles. Um, Gal he's oh, yeah. the original Galvatron. No, Frank Welker came in later, people. Leonard Nimoy was the first. Oh, it's Mecha Godzilla. Of course, I should have known. You make that joke, but uh, there is actually a Mecha Godzilla Transformer. So. I know. <laughs> I, I, it's called Trypticon. Trypticon. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I actually, I. Because somebody did post that in the comments, it's like, oh, it's actually Trypticon, and so I went to the Transformers wiki to look up information, and I love when they they get to the section about his appearance in that game, the caption for the picture is, oh, is James's quote, oh, it's Mechagodzilla. Oh, the, the Famicom game? Yeah. Yeah, where they brought in Trypticon, when at that point Trypticon had just barely been invented, I think. Cool. Um... Yeah, Trypticon is actually kind of a later deal, because Omega Supreme came first, and Omega Supreme was like a... Actually, while I'm here... Ow. What was, what was, his, what was his vehicle form? Omega for Supreme was like a small city hmm. kind of thing, and then Metroplex happened, and... and uh, to ye lagoon. I love that the, there's been some dispute about this, but um, when we actually watch the 80s movie, mm -hmm. the Autobot city that they're in is supposed to be Metroplex, but it's not. Because the series explains that it isn't. It's a weird deal. <laughs> I love Transformers. Can you guys tell? Can you guys no, tell? no, we couldn't tell no, at all. No. And by the way, bring Megatron back as a gun. Because okay, I don't care I what think the sensors have to say. First do a backflip and then push the this thing. Press what? The, the back. Let's just, oh. all, let's just all be honest. Um, your problem with it is that Hasbro actually made him look like a gun, Oops. like a legit gun, mm -hmm. as the toy. He didn't look like that in the game in the series. He looked like just a weird space-looking gun with a really funky arm with a uh, one of those custom pistol semi-automatic uh, holsters or whatever. Let me try one more time and see if I can. Yeah, that crap happened, people. Eh, I still I'm with the filmmakers on this. That is, it's that's the equivalent of having Darth Vader transform into his own lightsaber and having someone else swing it around. I'm not saying it was a great idea to be able to do that, but I did not like the whole controversy. Like you can't be a gun. It's Transformers. They can be whatever the frick they want. They really can. Mm -hmm. I mean, for crying out loud, they had they had and this one doesn't get referenced as we much. Get everything in this world, but it also so. got edited into into pulp later. Let's say. But there was a second one that was a gun. Mm -hmm. Shockwave. But they got away with it in G1. Why did they get away with it? Because he looked like a space gun. Mm -hmm. That's the justification. And it just so happened that Shockwave didn't show up that often. Because he was like, when Megatron went to Earth, he kept Shockwave there to bolster his forces on Cybertron. So whenever he would come out and, and fight, it would look like a turret. It would just look like a turret? It would look like a turret. But later he got edited into the ground because he had to be a tank too. Just like Megatron had to be. At least Prime made him a ship. <laughs> so did the Michael Bay movies. Fuck you, Michael Bay. <laughs> Give it a rest. Oh, you can also get the Cheeto page in here since you got the glide. I will move never, now. sir. Because he it's had in the really Atlantis. good lore on his hands and oh, he yeah. squandered it. With where you had to use the um Kazooie thing. You know what? I'm actually gonna make this campaign now. Duncan Jones for the next Transformers movie. Duncan Jones. Duncan Jones did the Warcraft movie. Oh, yeah. And so at that point, I at least know a director that looks into the lore. Granted, he looks into too much lore for Warcraft, but so I mean, that's easy enough to fix. If this is the room, it should be behind you. Okay. I mean, guys, that's easy enough to fix. You just have a guy temper him. Nope. It's in one of the other rooms. 
Oh, so you want a bloated, messy movie that has CGI I'm dwarves? I'm it's an easy oh, you don't fix. Climb up. You have a guy literally say, okay, no. take three pieces of lore and you get to work with them. Level. You don't get 15 pieces of lore and get to work with it. And frankly, I don't know if that's necessarily Duncan's fault as it is that I know that Chris Metzen was actually observing the Warcraft film. And Chris Metzen loves his Sorry. lore way too much. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty certain that a lot of that problem might have been just Chris Metzen didn't want to not include this piece of lore. But you have to explain, Garona. You have to explain this. You have to explain that. No, no, you really don't, Chris. You don't. Not in this movie. Maybe later. Maybe later down the line no, when, when Warcraft the... gets a series. I don't know. That's the... Yeah. The Temple of the Fishes? Yeah. Are we going to sleep with the fishes? No. We're going to sleep with the fishes. Nope. 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 Cutting you off right there. Cutting Oof. you off. You're done, Andrea. You're done. I am done. You're done. You're done. You made a bad joke this and now you're be... done. Okay, now turn around to face us and look up. Okay, whatever jiggy we're on, we're right this is the last one. This is a Cheeto page. Okay, it's so the last have... Cheeto page. Because we're, we're getting to that magical time, people. Oh, it, as soon as it began, it, it ended. Mm -hmm. And we talked about nothing but Transformers, South Park, Simpsons, and everything but Banjo. Yes. There we go. Guys, there's only so much to go over with Banjo. Especially an old game that's been LP'd a few dozen times. Yeah. Da, da, da. All right. All right. That's going to go ahead and do it for us this week. So when we get back, um, we will tackle even more into Banjo Tooie. Here's hoping we actually will finish more than just one area. <laughs> These worlds are big. What can I tell you? <laughs> and it's days like this that one must wonder. Bear and Bird on their own adventure. What is this nonsense? Should we take a tour to the next world? Ah, I want to go back to. I'm sorry, I need to answer a question really quick. Is Alex running for president? Yes, I am. Endorse me for president, and I promise everybody. Well, I don't know, but I'll think of something. I almost feel like I have to remove the Shadow Blazer from Draken Shadow just so we don't speak about politics. <laughs> That's true. Even politics in gaming, which we, we talk plenty about. What, are you saying that the Shadow Blazer loves to speak about politics? No, no, I'm saying if he's running for president, that means he has to speak politics, which means by the rule of Draken Shadow, as we've said, no politics on the channel, uh, I have to remove the Shadow Blazer. You know what? I'm going to open this up to the comment section. Let us know if if Alex should be kicked from what? the from the show I because he's running for president. I swear I did the stupid snowball before. If for no other reason than you might actually get to hear on one of the shows, Alex, you fired. You fired, man. No, and Andrea, I need you fired. Because you, you, you're, you're, you're not getting the Donald Trump. It's me. You're, you're not Detroit? getting it. Please, let's not talk about Donald Trump. Ah, no chance. Well, this Donald is a Trump. job for a professionally, a professionally qualified doctor. Okay. I'm sorry. Random thought. I, I now need to say it. Um, when I looked at that at first, I did not see the alien model. I saw a giant pig snout. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> this has been another Rorschach. Uh, moment with with Drac, uh, which is good because a lot of people have actually asked for more quote and I quote random bullshit <laughs> on these things. Because um, I actually did have one of our viewers reach out and just go, you know, you guys have very little, very few like real life stories that you're willing to tell, and everybody else does that, and it's like, well. I get that you guys want it, but our lives are pretty uneventful. That's true. If anything, Alex would probably be the one that has all the stories because he works freaking retail. Uh, and so, I mean, I could I could tell old stories about when I used to do that, but uh, Alex has the most recent cases. Speaking of which, Alex, mm -hmm. we're near the end of August. Yes, we which are. Which means you have T minus two more months of freedom. 
before the worst time of the year for a retail employee happens. <laughs> yeah. Are you just, are you, are you savoring these two months or are you just dreading? Like you're counting down the days before your life becomes a living hell. I am counting down the days. Yes, I want your help again. I am dreading the ever so, oh, this ever so wonderful months between late October and late December. Well, look at it this way, Alex. You could have been working in a call center for healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Which do you think would have been worse? <sighs> Yes, oh, I'm now we're gonna go and sneak <laughs> right by. Hello! Oh! Hello! <laughs> That's true. I'm I glad I got out of that call center job. I don't know. I, I think it would be a 50 50 deal. I think they'd both be really, ho really horrible. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, December is still right in the middle of flu season, isn't it, isn't it Andrea? Isn't, isn't that classified as flu season oh, still? Yeah. In which season? December. Uh, December. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The way I understand it is flu season begins what? September? Usually. Yeah. Probably late August. Probably beginning September. So yeah. Then. December would be would be flu season. So at that point, you, people dealing with uh, health care issues while they're not feeling well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that would not be fun. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I mean. Random stories just don't happen that often. Although somebody actually did request that I do a full-on vlog about my daughter. Aww. I don't know how I feel about that. And, well, let's let's see this scene really quick and then I'll, I'll go into that. My false alien child. Mumbo raises the dead. And now the baby alien is a homunculus. Thank you, Earthlings. Not all brain dead. And yet you hit yourself in the head. That's not advised. <laughs> imagine, um, imagine if we had an oh. outfit for our um, for our baby with that. Well, speaking of the baby, so somebody actually asked for like full on vlog and, and for us to tell stories about me. Okay, mm -hmm. first of all, it's not. I don't hate you guys. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a dick with this, but I'm. St I'm still at that point as a father where I'm deciding how much exposure I want to give my daughter. Because right. at that point, this may not be something that she wants later down the road. She might want it. I don't know. Um, but at the same time, you know, there, there's just this one little factor that I have always known in, in my life. What happens on the Internet stays, stays on, on the, the internet. internet. So I don't want to, you know, basically create a bunch of bad memories with my daughter and then have her hate me forever because I did it. Because mm -hmm. it can't ever be removed. So I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys don't mind me doing it in like a tasteful fashion, maybe maybe we'll do it that way. Um, I would assume they'd be tasteful. Well, tasteful is that I'm not going to be telling like poop stories. Yeah. You know? <laughs> poop stories. I mean, I want to treat my daughter like a person, and I don't think anybody wants to hear about her poop. Yes, revelation, uh, baby's poop. And uh, it's just a, it's a fact of life. <laughs> And not 2D. It's just a fact of life. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe that'll be something for for my channel. I don't know. Go if around it, there to the back over there. I don't know if necessarily it would fit on Dragon Shadow because everything is about Dragon Shadow. But maybe maybe we'll do something the along way. those lines. But anyway, back to pig snouts, because that's what we were talking about. Back to pig snouts. snouts. Back to pig snouts, because that alien child looked like a pig snout. How did it look like a pig snout? I don't know. There's the gnome. Rorschach me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've lived with me for how many years, and you want explanations? Well, yeah, i just like to know what's going through your mind there. Well, yeah, good luck with that. I'm still waiting on the explanations for myself. And... And there's the other alien child. Oh, he's got a ginger. Thanks, Earthling. And a Robotnik logo? <laughs> that looks like the Robotnik logo. Who knew? You know, the little badge on his suit? That looks like the Robotnik logo. Who yeah. knew? He's the he's a secret agent for uh, Dr. Robotnik. What, not Dr. Eggman? F Dr. Eggman. F Dr. Eggman and his extremely, extremely lanky legs. 
and this bushy. He's always had lanky legs. What did you say? He's got. That's where the missing centimeters for so centimeters for Sonic's legs went. They they went into Eggman. Are you saying that Doctor Eggman's legs are way longer than Sonic's yes, legs? Yes, and I'm also saying that his eyes are green. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. His eyes are blue. Wait, do we even know anymore? Because now he wears the goggles full time. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> he's even the know. next. He's the next kid in the next season of Digimon. He's the goggle kid. The goggles do nothing.